I've been watching Chris Capoon's uh, recent videos on these old EL locks, and I've pulled mine out, and uh, three different uh, kinds here, it looks like. Uh, this is one like Chris has. Look on here, it has the uh, code numbers here, and this keyway says it's a uh, GP. It's a wide keyway. It's well worn. Don't have a key for it. Second one is different. It has the sandpaper type background to it, and the letters Yale are different. You can see the pins that hold the core in. And it says Super Pin Tumbler Lubricate with Graphic on the top of it. And it doesn't have any markings on the bottom other than this looks like a letter I, but not quite sure. It may have worn off many numbers here. Don't have a key for that either. And then there's this GL. It has different uh, lettering on this as well. And it has a sandpaper type background. And it says, Made in Eaton, Yale in Town Incorporated on that. And it also says Super Pin Tumbler Lubricate with Graphite on the top. But there's no numbering on the bottom. But I do have a key for it. Yale Eaton on the top and a code on the key. There's the bidding. It works fairly well. It's a little gritty. I'm going to try and uh, break the same one that uh, model that, uh, Chris did in his video. He said these have mushroom pins in them. I've tried a single pin picking all of three of these and had no luck. So let's uh, try and get this right. Using uh, two Petersons, the uh, quad and the cycloid. Give the quad a chance. <clears throat> Let's try the quint. See if that work. And there we go. That opened up. Close back up. I'm going 
give the uh, prod another chance. It is temperamental. setting. Give it one more try and we'll call it a day. successful. So there we go. A couple of old-fashioned yields raked with the uh, Petersons quad and quint. Thanks for watching.